You might be wondering, why is it important to learn about the anatomy of a dog? Well, to handle a dog safely, during the grooming process and to style a dog to accentuate its features, you need to know its basic anatomy. Knowing the anatomy will also assist in precision work when it comes to styling. For example, to ensure that the schnauzer's leg shape starts at the same level on both sides, you would use the elbow as a guide. Have a look at the image in front of you as we start from the head and work our way down to the rear. The flu is the lip, whiskers, muzzle, or also known as the foreface, which consists of an upper and lower jaw, nose. Stop. This is an indentation between the eyes, between the muzzle and forehead. Some dogs have a more prominent stop than others. Occiput. This is the highest point on the back of the skull and can be very prominent on some breeds. Ears. The visible portion of the outer ear is called the pinna. Next, we will look at the neck and shoulder section. Nape. The nape is where the neck joins the head at the back of the skull. The throat is below the jaws. Crest. The crest starts at the nape and ends at the withers. Withers. The withers are the top point of the shoulders. Shoulder. The shoulder is the top section of the foreleg from withers to the elbow. Prosternum. This is the bone that ties the rib cage together and is the top of the sternum. We will now investigate the back section. Back. It starts at the point of the shoulders and ends at the rib cage. Loin. This is the area on the back that starts from the end of the rib cage to the beginning of the pelvic bone. The croup, or also referred to as the rump, is the proverbial rear end. This is where the pelvis bone is located. Tail set. This is where the tail joins the rump. Tail. Flank. This refers to the side of the dog, both sides of the abdomen, just in front of the rear legs. Next section to discuss are the legs. The upper arm is found on the foreleg, right below the shoulder. The forearm is the long bone that runs after the elbow on the foreleg. The elbow is found on the foreleg and is the first joint located below the chest. The upper thigh is the part of the dog's leg situated above the knee on the hind leg. The lower thigh is the part of the hind leg beneath the knee to the hock. The stifle is also referred to as the knee. It sits on the front of the hind leg in line with the abdomen. Lastly, let's look at the dog's paws. Hock. The hock is the oddly shaped joint that makes a sharp angle at the back of the dog's legs. Wrists. The wrist is the joint at the lowest point of the forearm. Front pastern. The front pastern is the lower part of the foreleg, connecting the wrist to the front paw. Rear pastern. The rear pastern connects the hock to the hind paw. Dogs have paws, or also referred to as feet, with paw pads, toenails, or also called claws. Toes can also be referred to as digits. Dew claw. A dew claw is an extra toe that is found on the inside of a dog's front leg. Hind dew claws can also be found. <laughs>